If you're out at the bar on Saturday night, you'll probably see many ladies in black, but none will be more impressive than the lady in black you'll see on the TV in the bar. That's Darlington Raceway. It's the Bojangles Southern 500. Hi, I'm Center Sports Noah Kozlov, previewing the race with Sporting News' is Stephen Levine. So I hear Bojangles, and I just want to eat. Before we get into the race, what's your order from Bojangles? Well, usually when I stop at Bojangles, it's on the way into work in the morning. I'll swing in for some breakfast, get the Cajun filet biscuit. But the real danger for me are the blueberry biscuits. They got the biscuits with the blueberries baked in and the icing on top. It's that savory, sweet combination. Those things are dangerous. Man, that, that Cajun filet biscuit, I've had that before with the egg and cheese on top on the biscuit. I, I'm not even sure if I can talk NASCAR at the moment, but let's give it a <laughs> shot. What makes this track so easy to make mistakes on? Well, this track was built a long time ago. It's one of the oldest tracks on the circuit, and it just wasn't built for cars that can go as fast as our modern-day uh, uh, NASCAR Sprint Cup cars can, especially after the 2008 repave. These cars get a lot of speed on a very, very narrow track. There is no room out there. The cars have to hug the wall through the turns. Also, both turns are different. The track is sort of an egg-shaped, so you've got these wide, sweeping turns in one and two, and then a much smaller radius in three and four. It's one of those tracks that's just physically taxing and mentally taxing because it's so easy to make a mistake just because of the lack of breathing room. All right, so is that even magnified more for Danica this week? Well, absolutely. Danica actually was supposed to make her very first cup start at Darlington, and when she found that out, she suggested that they revise that plan. She said in some ways it feels like she's making her first cup start all over again. Remember, in IndyCar, they don't get anywhere near the wall, and everybody keeps telling her how difficult this place is. I think she just has to be patient. You can't force the issue at Darlington. You've got to give way. You've got to give up position. You've got to be patient if you want to make a pass. She can't afford to sort of get stressed out and get caught up in the whole Darlington mystique. But she knows this isn't about present results. This is about future results. And all she's really doing is trying to get a little seat time for when she goes full-time cup racing, maybe as soon as next season. All right, so I'm guessing she's not your pick this week. Yeah, who is, not who is so your much. Pick? <laughs> well, I like Denny Hamlin. I know a lot of people are going to look at Greg Biffle, your por current points leader. He won back-to-back -back in 2005, 2006, but has kind of struggled at Darlington since then. Denny Hamlin has only finished out of the top 10 once. He's got a 6.5 average finish, a 9.5 average run position, which is second only to Jeff Gordon at this track. So I'm going with Denny Hamlin to tame the lady in black. As always, if you're picking it, so am I. Stephen Levine, the Sporting go. News. Enjoy the race. Have fun there. Thanks, Noah. I will.